Hello, my name is Jake Bird. I am currently a first year student at Leeds Beckett University studying business management and finance. And this is my vlog about my buying behaviour. First, I'm going to start by defining what marketing is, as this, may, this has been a big influence on my personal buying behaviour. Marketing is the strategical business function that creates value by sim simulating, facilitating and fulfilling customer de demand. A person's buying behaviour can be influenced by both external and internal sources. An example of an internal source would be a person's attitudes, beliefs and perceptions towards a brand or product. These beliefs, however, can be influenced by external sources such as marketing. My buying situation. I currently have a high disposable income due to working as a barman part-time is a bottle of coke. For this product, I'm both the customer and the consumer as I both purchase the product and use the product. It was a routine problem solving purchase as it was more of an impulse buy rather than a thought out decision about purchasing. Let's start my need for the product. As I was first day and walking past the university shop, I decided to call in and see what fizzy drinks they had. My information search for the soft drink product was limited as Coca-Cola is my favourite soft drink brand. Valuation of alternatives was very limited as I knew going into the store that I wanted a bottle of Coca-Cola as that is my usual soft drink. Um, I had a very simple purchase as all I had to do was pick the drink out of the fridge and take it to the till and pay for it with either cash or card as the canteen shop had accept both forms of payment. Using the consumer involvement theory, this was a low involvement purchase. This theory linked price and frequency of the purchase to how involved a consumer gets when considering whether to buy the per product or not to buy the product. As this product was relatively inexpensive and was something I buy often, this was a low involvement purchase as I didn't have to think too much about purchasing the product. The next purchase I'm going to talk about is a Fred Perry t-shirt that I recently purchased. This was a limited problem solving purchase as this purchase is a less frequent purchase as I don't normally buy too much designer clothing and for this purchase I'm once again the customer and the consumer. I first recognised the need for this product um, when I decided I wanted to go on a night out there. The search started with a search on clothing websites such as ASOS and Boohoo Man. The brand Fred Perry immediately jumped out as I already have a t-shirt that's made by them and it's one of my favourite t-shirts as it's comfy and fits me well. The alternative designers on ASOS however decided against them as I've never used any of them before and for £40 I wanted to go with a, a, a brand and designer that I've tr trust and used before. Searching was easy, all I had to do was add the item to my basket and proceed to check out. I was very happy with my purchase when the package come the t-shirt was fine and exactly what I expected it to be. Plan behaviour can be applied to this purchase. This theory considers how a person's belief linked to their behaviour. This theory considers a person's attitudes towards behaviour subject to norms perceived behaviour controls which together shape a person's behaviour intentions and behaviour. It can be applied to my purchase of the Fred Perry t-shirt. My attitude was that Fred Perry was a good brand that sold good quality stuff and was a desirable brand. The subjective norm is as I was going on a night out, it's norm to buy, the normal thing to buy a new t-shirt for it is no one expects me to wear the same t-shirt twice on a night out. My perceived con control, behaviour control was either the, was a product a want or a need. And as as people expect you to wear a new t-shirt on a night out, I, I saw, thought the product was a need rather than a want. Therefore, this led to my intentions of buying a new t-shirt and my behaviour of buying the, Pre the Fred Perry t-shirt. Using Roger's theory of diffused, diffusion of innovation, I would say I'm an early majority, as I'm risk averse and tend to seek assurance over the products I buy. Therefore, I tend to stick to products that I and brands that I have used before and tend to use and buy products such as clothing from apps that my friends use and I know that they approve of. This led to me using the brand Fred Perry as I'd used the brand before and I knew that my friends approved of the brand. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my buying behaviour vlog.